What's up, gang? It's Terry Givens, and welcome to the Water Challenge. So, it's the first of eight challenges, so what the heck is the Water Challenge? It's super simple. We all need to drink more water. You know you do. I know I do. So this is a way to help you drink more water. It's not about just drinking water. You still eat food. You still do all that. But here's the rules to the water challenge. One, figure out how much you need to drink. How do you know? You should be drinking half an ounce of water for every pound you weigh. For instance, I'm 200 pounds. Half of 200 is 100. So I need to drink 100 ounces per day. That's about this mark on a gallon jug. Gallon is about 128 ounces. 100 ounces a day is what I need to drink all day long. I fill my jug up in the morning, and how do I know I'm done? I empty the jug out by the time I go to bed, and you do that 10 days in a row. Boom. That's the water challenge. Why am I doing that? Well, I'll tell you why. Because water is the only thing that your body treats the way it treats water. Water washes fat out of your body, right? Water dissolves toxins from your, your, uh, your cells in your body. Water is the thing that gets all the nutrients into your cells, and it's the way your body moves all the cellular waste out of your cells. Nothing acts like water, right? People think, well, I drink a lot of fluids, right? I drink a lot of Red Bulls, and I drink a lot of Coca-Colas. Let me tell you something. We take a look at a Coca-Cola here and look at the ingredients on the can of the container that you're drinking. That is what's in the drink. This one has number one ingredient is carbonated water. Hmm. Number two ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. Is that water? What about caramel color? Is that water? How about phosphoric acid? Right? Natural flavors. It's, it's like a butterfly landed on the can and it pooped. And now it's just wonderful inside. But be careful. You need to know what's in this because those are physical things. That isn't the same as water. If I were to take a hamburger, right, and I were to blend it up and make it into a liquid and drink it, would my body treat that like water too? Would my body use that to wash away fat? wash away toxins. No, it's a physical thing that's just in a liquid form. So be careful on trying to drink liquids and fluids. We need fresh water. And don't try to, you know, go the route where I'm going to take, you know, eight, uh, 12 ounce containers and refill them all day long. I want to keep track and I'll do hash marks. Don't do that. The beauty behind the water challenge is you have one jug and you fill it up in the morning and you're not doing calculations, this thing is staring at you all day long until you finish it. That's how you know you completed your day's challenge. What are you expecting to notice? You're gonna lose a bunch of weight, right? There's people that lose 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20. I've had people lose 35 pounds or more in two weeks drinking more water. Crazy, right? You're gonna have a ton more energy. Right? You're going to sleep better, your skin's going to get a lot more clear, you're going to have a lot of your toxins purged out of you, your digestion's going to get better, you're going to get a much uh, more regulated, you won't be stopped up as much on the pooper, you know what I mean. So expect that. Here's another thing that's going to happen. You are going to pee more. Oh my god, I gotta go pee, this is amazing. It, it, it amazes me how people freak out because they have to pee. Where do you think the fat that's getting washed out goes, right? Where do you think the toxins are going? It's got to go somewhere when it runs out of you. So don't freak out. It's temporary, right? Some of you will pee a bunch for a couple days and then you'll be fine. Some of you are going to pee for a week or two because you got years and years and years of stuff needs to get washed out of your body. Let the process run its course. One thing I do for my gallon jug of water is I put a teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt in mine every morning, any morning I shake it up because drinking, when you drink a lot of water like I do, you need to have a lot more natural sea salts in your diet so that the water goes into your cells, right, instead of just flushing right through you. So read below if you guys need to see more details on the rules, on why you want to use salt, why this is a benefit to you, and invite everybody you know to do this too because the more of everyone that's involved, the better you're going to do with it. So it's important you get started today, right? Don't do, I'll start next week. Next week is the killer of all commitments. And it's important for you to know 
that you can do this and I believe in you. Be well.